Oh. <laughs> Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations. We're building another custom AMD workstation. This one will have AMD's third generation Ryzen 9 3950X CPU, part of the Zen 2 architecture. It offers 16 cores and 32 threads of processing power. AMD says these are the most advanced desktop processors in the world, offering the highest single thread and multi-thread performance of any mainstream desktop processors at 4.7 gigahertz. In fact, last year in November, it broke the world overclocking record. The 3950X is about a quarter of the size of the Threadripper from our last build, and we're going to pair that with an NVIDIA Titan RTX. This particular configuration will be a gaming workstation center for a client and entertainment biz. Let's take a look. We're going to pop that 3950X Ryzen CPU into an Asus Tough Gaming X570 Plus ATX gaming motherboard, which is a mid-level consumer gamer board. It features the AM4 socket and the X570 chipset. These third-gen Ryzen's are the first desktop processors delivering PCI 4.0 and are ideal for elite gaming and workstation class content creation. Both the X570 and the B550 motherboards support PCI 4.0 and are future ready to incorporate the next generation Zen 3 architecture. Ryzen 9 is the latest and greatest of the Zen 2 line, offering the best performance of cores available. But there's also Ryzen 3, 5, and 7 desktop processors, offering various levels of performance. At 16 cores, our Ryzen 9 3950X is the next level down from the Threadripper 3970 at 32 cores. That said, I did find the naming 3950X a little too similar to the 3970X and 3990X, which are completely different animals and use a different socket. Don't even get me started on all the generations mentioned on these processors and their siblings. In addition to that killer Ryzen CPU and Asus X570 board, this current build features the newest edition Fractal Defined 7 case, which has been described as the finest, great, the best, very impressive. I just pulled out some highlights from several different reviews. The system will also include a dark core gaming mouse, Corsair rapid fire mechanical keyboard, and Corsair CPU liquid cooler, all with built-in RGB lighting effects. In other words, while it's kicking ass on frame rates and making your power-hungry ultra-ego gaming dream of being a superhero come true, the system will look great doing it. Let's not forget about that NVIDIA RTX Titan GPU too. By the way, IT Creations is branching out a little, so if you like our channel, hit that subscribe button. You will be seeing more of these custom AMD integrations. Systems like this are being snapped up by local special effects production companies like Hotcakes. If you're interested in this or something along these lines, or if you have other ideas, just give us a call. We offer very competitive pricing and the expertise to custom configure your workstation or high performance battle rig to your specifications. If you're interested in that Titan RTX GPU, just click that link to see pricing. Of course, we carry all these components, but you have to start somewhere. The Fractal Design 7 case is an update to the Fractal Design Define R6 USB-C case used in the AMD 3990X Threadripper workstation we did a few weeks back. This one, like the R6, has all sorts of options. Top, front, and center, there's a large power on button with a few ports for headphones and a USB-C port on the left, plus two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 on the right. However, I should mention, our motherboard has no USB-C header to connect that USB-C port, but there is still one on the back. The build quality on this chassis is outstanding with a brushed aluminum front bezel and very tight tolerances in all the other panels. Inside the case, integrated cable guides with Velcro ties help you organize your system layout. Not to mention Fractal also provides some great how-to videos to get the best layout for your needs. The case comes with three 140mm fans, but you can install a total of nine 140 or 120mm fans. Even the optical drive can be removed to make way for another fan. It can support larger size motherboards up to 285mm. That would be the E-ATX size, but our build will have an ATX board. You can remove both side panels and the entire top of the case for easy setup and replacement of components. It also has high airflow nylon screen filters front, top, and bottom for dusty environments or industrial settings. We actually replaced the top cover for more cooling and added a Hydro Series H100i RGB Platinum Liquid CPU cooler featuring a 240 millimeter radiator and dual fans at the top of the chassis. I mean, it's not like you're gonna be able to see it. I mean, maybe we should have used the tempered glass panel. Why didn't we use a tempered glass panel? You can install up to 14 hard drives plus four dedicated SSD mounts. Of course, our board only supports up to eight SATA connections, but we'll get to that. Any unused fan positions can be converted to support a drive or pump mount using a versatile multi-bracket. And like I said, nine fan positions. Let's take a quick look at what's powering this beast. An EVGA Supernova 80 plus gold 1000 watt PSU. So definitely some power. I love the name too, Supernova. 
kaboom. With sound dampening on the top front and side panels, Fractal says this case is exceptionally quiet. The drive cages also have vibration dampening and with a liquid CPU cooler, it's even more quiet. I'm not sure how many decibels equates to exceptionally quiet. We'll have to take a listen later. What is the Ryzen in relation to the Ryzen Threadripper? We'll both use the Zen 2 microarchitecture with a seven nanometer process. There are just more chiplets on the Threadripper. These new AMD third generation Ryzen 9 CPUs occupy a much smaller AM4 socket than the TR4 or TRX4 sockets for the Threadrippers. Our Asus X570 motherboard has all the latest features, including PCI 4.0 and future compatibility with Zen 3 architecture. Additional features include AuraSync RGB synchronized lighting with addressable RGB headers peppered throughout. It allows you to automatically adjust lighting effects to specific Gen 2 RGB devices. I'm just taking the stats right off their website, but there are quite a few little heatsinks scattered around the board. The AMD X570 chipset has its own heatsink with fan, presumably so your board doesn't spontaneously combust from overclocking. The board also has two x4 M.2 connectors that can connect either an NVMe 4.0 PCIe or SATA modes. We'll be using two terabyte NVMe drives in those dedicated slots, which can also be rated together for some truly blazing fast PCI 4.0 speeds at up to 8,000 megabits per second, theoretical, for those that have PCI 4.0 already. These ones aren't, but still very fast at PCI 3.0 speeds. There are eight connectors for SATA drives on the motherboard. For support of SAS drives, you can opt for an HD RAID controller, but with limited PCI slots available, consider your options wisely. For large data transfers like video editing and other large image heavy files, NVMe is the way to go. Four PCI slots on the system board include one by 60 mechanical and electrical for the GPU. In this case, an NVIDIA Titan RTX. The other two small slots have a by one electrical lane and that other by 60 mechanical slot has a by four electrical lane. So no dual GPUs, at least with full bandwidth. Two by four connections on the motherboard are dedicated for two full length M.2 drives. We also used a PCIe card supporting a single M.2 drive in that other by four electrical by 16 slot. Ports on the back of the system include a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port, USB 3.2 Gen 1 port, a display port, an HDMI port, another USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, Realtek LAN port with Turbo LAN utility, and several audio connections for some serious premium audio, whether you're a developer or gamer. Network connection speeds are up to one gigabit per second with a Realtek LAN port with Turbo LAN. Oh, and if you're wondering what that tough gaming alliance thing is, a bunch of manufacturers got together to make components that are supported and compatible with each other. So we can in turn buy them and it'll just work. So you don't have to go all Hulk on them when it fails. These include the Corsair K70 RGB rapid fire mechanical gaming keyboard, the dark core RGB SE wired WRLS ACCS gaming mouse, and that cool Corsair CPU cooler we have for this system. And remember, the Armory Crate has AuraSync, so you can play around with RGB lighting effects supported on the previously mentioned devices. I mean, not like you're gonna be able to see them in this case, but let's move on. The ASUS board has a proprietary memory designed to tap into AMD's Infinity Fabric architecture, enabling higher frequencies and lower latencies, plus improved stability. The AMD Ryzen 3950X supports two memory channels with only four memory module slots on the motherboard. We're gonna use all memory channels outfitted with official ballistics gaming memory with 32 gigabits per module operating at 3200 megahertz for a total of 128 gigabytes of memory, the max this board supports. These modules are unbuffered. ECC memory is also supported, but you will take a slight hit in performance. Non-ECC memory will definitely give you a boost in performance and indeed running higher frequency memory modules like the 3200 gigahertz modules we used will also increase performance because internal chiplet communications are impacted by your memory module speed. The CPU runs at a base clock rate of 3.5 gigahertz, but can boost to 4.7 gigahertz, presumably with a little tweaking. I've seen quite a few reviews on this processor that basically say it does a great job of peak performance on its own right out of the box. With superior liquid cooling, like on our system, you'll realize even better performance and higher clock rates, and all of that without the little tweaking I mentioned. That said, AMD will not refund you if you break your processor because of overclocking. Instead, your video will be running directly off the NVIDIA Titan RTX at up to four 4K monitors plus a USB-C port for a Direct Connect VR headset. The NVIDIA Titan RTX offers 24 gigabits of GDDR6 memory. In comparison to the GeForce RTX 2080 Ti, this new Titan has all pathways unlocked for greater levels of performance with more tensor cores, a higher boost clock rate, twice as much memory, plus 72 ray tracing cores for photorealistic images. And then you have AI assistance for even smoother rendering performance. For researchers, creators, and gamers, 
those 4,608 CUDA cores provide up to 130 teraflops of performance. However, keep in mind, the GPU can only be used for a portion of the heavy lifting for compute. To take full advantage of that GPU processing power, you still need a good CPU. And the 3950X is, or at least was, the world's most powerful 16-core desktop processor on the market, at least last year. These AMD Ryzen processors are unleashing a new level of creativity in the entertainment and gaming industry, blurring the lines between cinematic special effects and those in games. This particular platform is somewhat of a hybrid, in that it can game and at the same time provide developers with a powerful option for game creation. With a superior core count and processing speed enabling more time for design and more scenes rendered, designers and gamers can enjoy greater depth and realism in these virtual creations. And like I said, we're going to be building more of these custom configured AMD powered workstation gaming rigs. If you're interested in one of these systems, contact iCreations. We're specialists in custom configuration and provide hardware to a number of production companies around the Los Angeles area and beyond. If you have any questions or comments on this system or any other, post them in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.